What's up guys, Danny from Swamp and Stomp. This video marks the beginning of a DIY build that Mark and I are taking on. Um, I'm building a John boat, mud boat, and um, he's building his own. So we're gonna have two series coming up. Uh, what I just wanted to talk about is things to consider when you're gonna purchase a John boat. By just doing a quick search on um, Craigslist or uh, Facebook Marketplace or wherever you're going to be looking for a boat, you'll see a lot of John boats that say that they don't have a title. Um, sometimes that's okay, but in other situations, um, if the person doesn't have the actual registration or if they aren't the actual first owner, that could be a problem to get the boat registered. In my case, I purchased this boat. Um, without a title, but the gentleman that I bought it from had only used it on private lakes. So this boat has never been registered uh, to be used on public waters here in Florida. I was able to get the title and registration for this boat by having one, a bill of sale, and two, a um, affidavit from the gentleman saying that he is the rightful owner and that the boat has only been used on um, private waters. So whenever you um, have a boat that's only been used on private waters, um, from my experience, as long as it's under 16 feet, it um, you can go that route. Now, whenever you're talking about you know a 16 foot or longer boat, things change, and I couldn't, I've never um, had to deal with that. But um, from the smaller boats that I've dealt with, I've been able to get by with an affidavit. If you have a 12 foot boat that doesn't have a title and it's been registered, now things get a little bit more complicated because um, you have to have a bill of sale from the individual that it was registered under last. Um, so, you know, that's something to consider and be very careful whenever you're purchasing a boat um, with the intention, intention of actually using the boat on public waters. You want to make sure that you have all your ducks in a row and do your research uh, before you purchase said boat so that if you do intend on getting it registered you don't have to jump through hoops and or even um, not have the ability to get it registered a lot of people will tell you hey you know you can go ahead and just do a diy build or if you just make a homemade um, boat title um, now that can get a little sketchy according to the uh, florida law the definition of a homemade boat is not a boat that has been repaired. So, for example, if you go ahead and um, rebuild the transom, that doesn't classify as a homemade boat. It classifies as um, basically just a boat that you repaired. You still need the original VIN number or HIN number and all the other um, paperwork in line for that original um, boat built. So just really do your homework whenever you're going to buy a John boat. There's a lot on the market right now, um, and they always seem to be pretty available. It's, you know, the ones that actually have titles are far and few in between. So um, if it doesn't have any stickers on the side, um, you know, there's a chance that it hasn't been registered. Generally, you'll see um, a part where maybe they have removed stickers, or if it's a freshly painted boat, uh, you, you're going to want to be careful and make sure that... Um, you know, you're dealing with somebody that's going to be honest and if they don't have the paperwork, um, you know, just be really careful about purchasing those boats. If you intend on using the boat simply on uh, private water or paddling, then you don't need a registration. Now, I'm not a lawyer and uh, I can't be giving you legal advice and that's not what this video is about. Essentially, uh, I just want to make sure that people are clear and aware of the, the risks of getting involved with a non-registered or non-type boat. Um, you know, a lot of people will say it's pretty easy, but I will tell you that I will tell you that it can get complicated. And if you dump, let's say you dump a thousand dollars on a uh, John boat there without a title, you know, that's a, a pretty little chunk of change for a small project to 
fall out because you can't get it registered. All this stuff that I'm saying and I'm telling you for um, about registration and stuff obviously only applies to Florida. If you're watching this video from another state, you're going to have to you know, do your research in your state and um, figure out what, what you find. This is all information that I have found through my own research and um, put it in, in, in place and it has worked out. Um, it may not work out the same for you, but these are just, you know, a couple things that you are going to want to consider before jumping into a project and um, expecting to, you know, just breeze through the paperwork to get yourself a um, registration or title for an untitled boat with just a bill of sale. It can get tricky. Well, thanks for tuning into this video. Make sure you hit this uh, subscribe button and click the little bell so you get um, notifications when our other videos go up. I'm going to be doing a full series on this DIY build.